everyone if you want to check cdp is enable or not already we wrote this command show cdp neighbor and we are getting the output and we told cdp is enable but in case if you want to check cdp is enable or not you can write show cdp when you write like this show cdp and you are getting some output then we can say cdp is enable here let me show you this way if you see here when we write here show cdp we are getting here globally CDP information, global CDP information. And here we have the CDP timer. CDP sending the CDP packet every 60 second and hold on time is 180 second. And CDP is enabled here. So if you want to check CDP is enabled or not, what you will do, just you will write show CDP and you will get this output. So if you are getting the output means CDP is enabled. Okay. And if you want to check in any other device, go to the switch. Example, I will go to the switch and I will check in the switch CLI. So how I can check, I can go to the switch CLI. I can write here also same thing. Show CDP neighbor. So I will get the neighbor information who is connected to me. So if you see, I have only one device is connected to me. This is only the one device. So this one device, what is the device name? Head office. So I am checking here in the switch. So I am getting here. I am getting this information. This router name is head office. If you remember, this router name is head office we keep. So this switch is saying I have only one neighbor whose device name is this one. And my local interface is connected to this device is F0 by 1. You can see F0 by 1. So why we need CDP, why we need this one means to for troubleshooting purpose also we can use. CDP is used to get the information of directly connected neighbor for troubleshooting purpose also we are using that.